Did you, did you <laughs> guys awful. play through Majora's Mask 3D? Did you did you get Majora's Mask 3D? Yeah. I, I actually don't have a 3DS at the moment. Oh really? I need because um, yeah yeah really. I I was quite um, surprised because I I play it with full 3D on all the time. And when I was playing through Majora's Mask 3D, like I did come across a couple of times when the frame rate dropped, you know, because it's like better on the new 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 3DS. But um, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I, that makes me wonder as well um, about the exclusive to new 3DS um, thing, because currently they've only done that with Xenoblade Chronicles, haven't they? Um, but a lot of people were talking about them making Twilight Princess. Um, there was a rumor going around, wasn't there? But it got defunct. Um, do you yeah. do you think that they will do that? I think they could, but that would be better suited for the Wii U. And I think um, they're just going to let... Oh, God, what was the name of them? Grezzo? Yeah, yeah I think yeah. they're just going to let Grezzo take all the assets that they have from Ocarina of Time. And, well, yeah. with, with Ocarina of Time, they let them have a little bit of freedom while they were remaking it. And you can see some of the changes. Uh, and then with Majora's Mask, they seen how good of a job they did with Ocarina of Time, so they allowed them a lot more freedom. And then yeah. you see, like, the bank and some of the owl statues in yeah. different places, changes to the bosses and stuff like that. Yeah. And that game did really well. So yeah. I think Nintendo's going to let them just work on a brand new third oh. Hero of Time game oh, using be, all, all be, those uh, assets. That, I would, oh, I would actually cry. That would be oh, the best thing no. ever. Yeah. Because like, I I came across this feeling with um, did you guys I used to play Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby, but um, like I had this feeling when I was playing it of like nostalgia for the for the original games, but also like new. Like the new excitement feeling you yeah. get when you play a new game, and it was like I'd never felt that before, like nostalgia and the new excitement at the same time. And if Grezzo did a third game where they used all the assets from Ocarina of Time, like similar looking aesthetics, and made it into a new game, that would be absolutely amazing. Yeah. Another thing that would be good as well is if um, a link between worlds didn't really do this because it was top down, but you could have dungeons that were specifically tailored to like 3D perspective, so you needed to use the three dimensions to actually solve puzzles that that like that would be amazing in my mind but obviously some that people don't like to use the 3d and if you're playing it on the 2ds <laughs> you're screwed yeah, <laughs> it would be cool if uh say for instance whenever you turn the 3ds slide on it like spreads out the room yeah oh that'd be great it would be i think that would be really cool and i'd like to see what grezzo could do with that because as much as uh, they've kind of sunk their teeth really well into these HD, not not HD, 3D remakes, mm. um, you know, we still haven't seen the extent to which Grezzo can go to, and uh, I think they can probably do more. And, you know, it's just something that's really exciting, and it's awesome to see, like, a direct sequel to Ocarina of Time mm. or uh, Majora's Mask. And I don't think that it could be, you know too risky for Nintendo. It's not taking up a lot of development time. Mm. They clearly trust Grezzo a lot, and it would just work to me. And also, uh, I think that personally, one of the nicest looking art styles for Zelda, um, that hasn't been HD at least, up until this point, is that art style for Ocarina of Time yeah. 3D and Majora's 3D. I really yeah. love the look of it. It looks yeah. so much nicer. Yeah. So. Another thing with uh, Grezzo doing that is Majora's Mask was originally made... Uh, in a year, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, within a year, and then it released uh, the year after that. Yeah. So it was like uh, Ocarina of Time was in 98, and Majora's Mask was in 2000, I believe. Yeah. And... Nintendo, well, Shigeru Miyamoto just wanted to go ahead and start working on a game for the uh, the GameCube, and that yeah. turned out to be Wind Waker. And Aonuma wanted to make another game for the N64 because yeah. of the success of Ocarina of Time, and he said, if you could make a game within a year, then we can fund you the money, and you can go with your project, make your game and everything. So he reused all the assets. So... Yep. Even though there was two years between those two games, there were still like two of the best-selling Zelda games there were. Yeah. And if you look 
on my channel there is a video about that so i'm just gonna get that shameless plug in there <laughs> that there is a nintendo no episode on that and yeah i believe that it was um zelda gaiden that they were working on which was an add-on for the n64 dd yeah and um it was something like miyamoto was working on that and aronuma thought it was flawed he didn't like the idea so instead he said if i can make this any year will you make like can we stop working on zelda gaiden which obviously turned out to be the right move because mm. the n64 disc drive didn't work out too well yeah yeah, and I think another thing with that is the amount of time that it took to make the original Majora's Mask. It took two or three times longer to make the port for the 3DS. Yeah. So yeah, that makes like that, that yeah. makes me think that they actually completed the game yeah. a long time ago. They just waited six months or a year after A Link Between Worlds came out. That way they wouldn't have two Zelda games competing yeah. with each other. And within oh, yeah. that time that the game was completed yeah. I think they could have already started working on it and yeah, we may yeah. I think it's a possibility we may actually get an announcement for Zelda for 3DS at this year's E3 that, that would be because Nintendo said Zelda for the Wii U well, wasn't Nintendo. going to be yeah. at E3 they didn't say anything I about I don't Zelda, believe that though because period. like I don't I that's why I've come that's why I'm thinking about this amiibo idea because like I just that just disappoints me greatly because like for them to show it and like dangle it above our faces like I don't know like a donut or something and then just not show it the year after like it's almost criminal but that's why, <laughs> that's why I, that's why I thought they would do that's why I thought they would show the amiibo because like at least they give us like a little taster you know but um yeah the 3ds idea is absolutely amazing because that's a great point that they must have been working on it for years because like there was a massive movement like operation moonfall i think it was called after ocarina of time 3d came out loads of people pushed for the majora's mass 3d remake so they must have had that in mind for a few years but um the only thing that i'm that i'm thinking is like how like much of like design like game gamey types are grezzo because i know grezzo did like the remakes of Ocarina of Time 3D and Majora's Mask, but like I, d I don't know how, and not to discredit them, but I don't know how like creative they are, you know what I mean, in terms of making games. Maybe they're just more tailored towards like the upscaling and remaking, and, like they're just good technically. So I think if, if they were making a Zelda game by themselves, I think nin Nintendo would want a lot to do with it since it's like a franchise that they hold near and dear. I think very possibly yes, but also um, I know at least the founder and the uh, CEO, like the main guy for Grezzo, is uh, Koichi Ishii, I think yeah. that's how you pronounce his name, and uh, he was a guy who was uh, like a prominent figure on the Mana series, you know, the Square Enix. Oh yeah, Enix oh cool, kind of... oh that's, yeah. that's great. Yeah. yeah, so at least in yeah. him... They've got a bit of clout there, yeah. as far as things go. Yeah, that's, that's And good. also, I believe they developed the Legend of Zelda Four Swords Anniversary Edition oh, yeah. as well. That's that's a decent game, yeah. Yeah. But uh, so it's, it, yeah, I didn't enjoy it too it. much because I was like, didn't have many people to play it with. <laughs> but, oh yeah. But, um, <laughs> I I played like half of it with one friend, and then like the rest of it with just bots. I, I felt forever alone. 